to talk about how I shoot 16 millimeter film, whether it's for a music video, documentary, a commercial, um, and just some of the tricks I use to get the most out of the image. The biggest issue I had when getting back into shooting film was the exposure. The image would never be rich enough the way I wanted it, and I just found that if I start shooting a stop or even two stops overexposed, then once I bring it into Resolve, I would pull it all the way down, add contrast, and just by doing that simple approach, it gets you so much richness out of the image, and it gives you so much more out of the film scan. The highlights roll off so well on film, you don't need to worry about it as much as you would with digital. And you'll just have this beautiful image. So when you get the film back from the lab, it comes back like this as a log image. We got this scanned as a ProRes 422 file. It's quite overexposed. And then after I've graded it, it's brought quite far down. And it really comes out a lot richer when you do it this way. Here's another example of, this is a tungsten balance stock 500T. The image is also stabilized in post to get rid of that camera shake from the film gate. And yet again, bringing the image right back down. And this is an outdoor shot that we did, again with the comparison of the two. You get so much more out of that sky. So you could either use a light meter and get a reading in front of the scene and then just overexpose your camera to compensate for that. Or even if you're shooting an old Bolex like this one that I used, I just meter it through the through the eyepiece, there's a little light meter in there. I'll just look at the meter and I'll just I'll just go over just a bit because I know that you can you can bring it down so far in the grade. So this is what happens when you screw it up and you underexpose the film. Once you've done a basic color correct and add the contrast and saturation back into it, there's really not much room to move around. It just makes it a lot harder to, to push the colors around. So yeah, I'd advise to stay away from anything like this. It's much easier to bring it down to a moody tone rather than to underexpose it and bring it back up. Okay, so this is a music video I shot on Kodak 250 Daylight balanced stock with a real minimal crew. And this scene of our performer sitting in front of the piano was lit in a bit of an unrealistic way, but, but I find that works for a music video. Sometimes you can be more stylized, it works quite well. Someone like Robert Richardson does it really well with Tarantino in his movies, the lighting is really over the top, but it really fits the, the style of filmmaking. What we did was use this 2K Fresnel as this hard light that's hitting inside of him. And then we wrap the light around with the sky panel. I would never really use uh, a sky panel just sort of banging into someone's face without any diffusion in front of it. But in a music video, in certain circumstances, you can kind of get away with it a bit more, I think. Um, I probably wouldn't do this in a, in a drama. It's a bit heavy. You can see the multiple shadows on the ground from the different sorts of sources a lot. Even up here in this top left-hand corner, you can see the 2K in the shot, but we knew that that was going to get masked out. That big light in the background was the sun just coming straight through the window and we just waited for the right time of the day for that to happen and shot it in about 15 minutes that we had. To create a bit of contrast I just added as much blacks as we had on the other side and then just filled the room with smoke. So hopefully that helps with some of the lighting and the idea of shooting overexposed a little bit and, and bring it down in the grade if your images are looking a little bit muddy or not as rich as you'd like them to be. And yeah, that's it.